Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze and I'm a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. So in today's video, this video is going to be a collaboration with another YouTuber. She's also a presenter and an actress and she's a makeup lover and her name is Lillian Patrick. The name of her YouTube channel is The Tall Black Chick. Okay, yes, she's so pretty. Yeah, so The Tall Black Chick on Instagram and on YouTube, that's her name. I'm going to leave the link in the description box and you know on the screen so that you guys will go and check her out. We're going to talk about this topic so also go over to her channel so that you can you know hear her own thoughts on the topic. For me, I'm married while she's single, so yeah, I'm going to be hearing two different, might not be necessarily different, I don't even know her opinion on this topic, but yeah, you're just going to be hearing a different perspective on this topic, okay? Yeah, and the topic is the pressure on women to get married, the pressure of, especially Nigerian women. We all, or most of us, have experienced this pressure to get married, especially when you get to a certain age and you're not yet married, and you know, you know, yeah. So, we're going to be talking about it in this video. So, if you would like to know my thoughts on this topic, then just keep on watching. All right, so guys, disclaimer I did not have pressure on me before i got married okay if i when lillian reached out to me and told me that we talk about this topic i initially wanted to turn it down because to be honest i did not have pressure on me to get married when i did um i got married a little bit early now I don't, I don't even consider me getting married at 23 as early but yeah i got married uh, earlier than most of my mates okay so yeah when i got married there was no pressure on me to get married and i think that's the same story for most people who get married young many of us do not have that people always think that because you got married young maybe because your family members wanted you to marry get married quickly it's not true for most of us we got married because we wanted to get married. In fact, many of us, our parents don't really want us to even get married when we did. Some of us, our parents were like, why don't we just wait small while? I said, no, I want to marry. I love him, okay? That's not my own story anyway, but I'm just saying. But for many women, many women who get married early, it wasn't pressure for them to get married, okay? So yeah, that's my disclaimer. I did not have pressure on me to get married. But I mean, I'm not blind. I'm in a society where I recognize and I see daily where women are pressured into getting married for various reasons okay for various reasons which i'm going to be highlighting in this video so i'll talk about the reasons why women are pressured into getting married the consequences and you know just generally i'm just generally going to talk about you know this whole thing okay yeah so let's just start from the beginning why are women pressured to get married why now both men and women generally are pressured to get married okay but first of all, women are pressured differently from men. The pressure we put on men is different from the kind of pressure we put on women to get married, okay? And number two, women are pressured way, 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 way more to get married than men are. That's why you see men in their 50s, in their mind, they are still choosing. They are still, they are still hot cake in their 50s. While women in 28, 29, she's already feeling like time is passing her by, okay? So the pressure on women is immensely more than it is on men in our society especially in fact i think in, in, in the world and generally but in our society especially the pressure is different for men you know the pressure is different between men and women okay why are women pressured a lot to get married okay now i think the first reason why women are pressured to get married is nature okay is nature is part of nature it's simple biology we all know that a woman's reproductive years are way less than that of the men. It is facts, okay? These are facts. So, I'm saying these are facts because I remember in, was it Dinah? Yeah, it was in Dinah's video where she mentioned about uh, women having finite number of eggs and stuff like that. A lot of people came for her, like, why did she say that, blah, blah, blah. But that's just the truth, okay? Women's biological clocks ticks faster than that of men. It is just simple nature, okay? Women have you know a specific number of eggs with which diminish every year till she reaches menopause okay so that is why many women have that pressure on themselves to get married on an instinctive level okay on a primal animalistic level women have that pressure to get married because they have to get their eggs i'm talking about for reproductive purposes they have a finite number of eggs which diminish with time and then as age 
as a woman progresses in age it gets more difficult for her to conceive naturally and then even when she can conceive through other means and other intervention it even gets more complicated to use other interventions like IVF and stuff for a woman to get pregnant once she goes once she goes older I hope my English is making sense so yeah what I'm just trying to say is that the first reason on a very primal biological level the first reason why women are pressured to get married to find a partner is because their reproductive years are not as much as that of men okay so that's it and number two this one is also related to that um biology or primal instinct women actually age faster than men that's just the truth women actually once you start reproducing kids in fact like the more kids you have the more you age faster <laughs> these women these children drain our our soul okay <laughs> yeah but yeah women age faster than men that's why you see a man of 50 something going for a woman of 20 something now i'm talking about on a on a biological primal instinct level i'm not talking about just societal pressures i'm talking about just based on human nature or based on nature you see a man in if something going for a woman of 20 something 30 something and that's because um youthfulness is a marker for reproductiveness okay for fertility youthfulness is a marker for fertility now in i mean it's no longer that um accurate okay because of times have changed uh, a lot of health issues are now coming up a lot of things have changed in our diet in the way we live in the way we we you know in the way, in the way things happen now usefulness is no longer an accurate marker for reproductiveness or for fertility but yeah basic on a basic level usefulness is a marker for you know fertility so men are more attracted to useful looking younger women than they are to older women so that's why women have that pressure on them to get married quickly while they are still young because once they get older their desirableness or their their ability to attract a partner reduces okay these are just facts that i'm saying you know so nobody should start feeling like i'm trying to bash anybody who is not married or who whatever i'm just saying this is one of the reasons why women are pressured to get married early okay now there are exceptions to the rule okay there are women who are treated something are still fertile while there are women who at 18 19 they are infertile but yeah that's that about that let's move on to the next point so another reason why this pressure is on women is because of our societal structure yes the society lays more importance on married women than it does on single women okay i'm going to go deep into that later but that's just the fact so a lot more importance and respect is put on married women than it is on single women generally in society now irrespective of their money of their achievement of their contributions to society our society nigerian society now african society in general places more importance on married women than it does on single women and for me i have a theory for why that is is so okay i feel like this respect that is put on married women is not on the it's not because of anything it's just the respect on the respect we put on men is what now rubs off on the woman because she's married that's just the truth it's because we respect men we put more importance on men on the male child so by association a married woman is now seen as more important than a single woman just because she's associated to the man not because of anything else because if you look at it once that man is out of the equation maybe death or divorce that respect goes down so the respect really is not even for the women it is for their husband so it just rubs up on them which is so sad it is in fact it's so sad but that is just the fact of how our society operates okay yeah the second pressure stems from and this is the biggest pressure actually it stems from the society now the third pressure comes from personal pressure yes in fact to me this is actually the biggest this is the most hurtful or the most harmful pressure yeah i think it's the most harmful pressure is the one that comes from ourselves okay we as women also put pressure on ourselves which can be really damaging and this pressure stems from like i said biological clock and all that and also the society we live in so all these things join together makes a woman or all these things joined together um changes a woman's mindset even from a young age about how she views herself you know her sense of self-worth those two um, biological and societal pressure you know works hand in hand to destroy 
<laughs> I don't know how to put it. Once women start getting to a certain age in their minds, I'm supposed to be married by this time. I'm supposed to have a partner. I'm supposed to be answering misses. My mates are married. Why am I not married? You know, you see women who have achieved so much more than their, than their married counterparts. They have achieved everything in this life, but they feel incomplete if they do not have a partner or a husband or, you know, nobody has come to knock on their father's door. That kind of thing. Like, it's really sad, but that's just the fact of life. Like I said, and I'm going to keep saying, it is not the same for every single woman on the face of the earth, okay? I'm just saying generally, in most cases, women get pressure to get married from themselves they pressure themselves to get married and this pressure now makes them start acting funny start you know modifying their behavior changing themselves you know either for good or for bad just because they want to attract the opposite sex okay anyway so yeah those are the three um sources of pressure that i feel is what pressures women into getting married early in a society so talking more about pressure from the society society attaches so much importance on a woman being married you see a woman come and talk out in public and people are like she don't marry where's your husband you never go marry it's obvious to get married many people in our society feel like women who are not married are either badly behaved they are unattractive they have issues you know something is wrong with them you know and then we feel like women who are married are better they are more well behaved they are more attractive nothing is wrong with them you know which is is so not the case <laughs> I don't know how to explain how not the case this is. There are so many irresponsible women who are married today who have no business being married. There are so many irresponsible, you know, problematic human beings that are married today, happily married. While we have very good, responsible people who are single. So it doesn't work that way at all. But in our society, we, we, we have things twisted. You see a, a single lady wants to get a house. And the landlord is like, no, I can't, I can't rent my house to single women because you start bringing men to the house. But you can rent your house to single men who also brings other single men and also brings women to the house. But that's not a problem to you. But because a woman is single and she's going to bring men into the house, then that's a problem for you. As in, make it make sense. The way we, the way we think in society sometimes it just it, it, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. You see some jobs because a woman is single people already assume that because she's single she's there to sleep with Oga the only reason why she got the job because she's sleeping with Oga um you see even the even the Oga's wife will be scared of the of, of the secretary or whoever is working with her husband oh she's single please oh I don't come, to come and, I don't have to come and take my husband away from me you see women who have good friends while they were single once they get married you know people start advising them ah you have to stay away from your single friends now although that's not really the case in my own case and in the case of most of my friends that i know now a lot of us nothing changed after we got married we still kept the same friends you know the only reason why we even um stopped having some friends is because of time away distance and you know just gradually grew apart you know different uh, different interests and all that okay i had this see women who are no longer friends with their single friends just because they are married like it doesn't even make sense to me but yeah but i've seen people who we are advised to do away with their single friends simply simply because they've gotten married like now you're married you are no longer on the same level you have to get you have to get rid of your single friends like it doesn't even make sense to me it's so sad how how these things play out if i let me tell you guys a story okay yeah so let me tell you guys a story so there's this person that i know who is married to one of the most useless men on earth? I'm sorry to say, I'm sorry to call anybody useless. I don't believe anybody's useless, so, but I'm just saying, as a husband, he was a useless person, okay? He was a useless husband, a useless father, a useless husband, okay? Yeah, so this person was married to this guy. The guy was just pure trash. You know, they say a human being is trash, <laughs> where a human being has trashy behavior, like just take him, bundle him, and throw him away. That kind of person now. After a while, she had to leave the man because things were not just working out. In fact, things turned so bad that she had to leave the man. Okay, and she already had kids for the man. She had two kids for the man, but, you know, eventually she left the man and she's now on her own trying to, you know, survive, trying to, you know, make, make something for herself, you know. So, that's the case for this person I'm talking about, okay? The man is not even still contributing. It's just a, a trash. It's just a trash. Okay, so now there's this other person who was... I think 37 or 38 and she wasn't married okay so now i was discussing with somebody and she was telling me about oh that she wishes that person can just find a husband you know that she's doing so well in her job she's, she's she has money she's you know she's doing well for herself but ah if only she had a husband things are better for her and i was telling the person that see 
as far as I'm concerned, if you're taking care of yourself, you know, you have money, you're doing well for yourself, aside the pressure to, you know, have kids early, which to me, you shouldn't get married because of because you want to have kids, okay? If you're getting married just because you want to have kids, that is just a stupid reason to get married because you're going to get frustrated in that marriage. It means that you're going to end up with just anybody just because you want kids. So it doesn't make sense. It's not by force to have children. Me, oh, I wanted children, I love children. So for me, it was by force. But I'm just saying, there are people who are surviving on this earth without having kids and they are doing well, they are fine. So it's not a must to have children, okay? You're not less of a human being if you don't have children. So do not go and end up with a man simply because you want to have kids. Okay, remember that these kids are going to grow up and leave you and you're still going to be lonely. So the loneliness you are, you are running away from, you are still going to meet it in the future. Granted, you now have kids who, you know, can call you once in a while or send you something or, you know, spend time with you once in a while. But majority of the time, you're going to spend it being single, being lonely, if you marry for the wrong reasons. So anyway, so many people are not talking now. So she wants to know she that person will get married. No, okay, now I said... That means I don't even understand why they're putting that pressure on her to get married. If she's doing it for herself, if she wants to get married with time, she will still get married, okay? It's never too late. People can find, people find love even at 40 something, 50 something. So it's never too late. So I was just trying to tell this person. The person now said, no, ah, that, that's not like that too. That time is actually a factor. I said, yes, I understand that time is a factor, but as she's not married, as she's not married early, she should not kill herself. She can, she, she can still get married at any time if that's what she wants. And even if she doesn't get married, for me, she's still better off than a lot of women. And I said, what of the other person too that got married early and had two children? Now she's single, she's not married again, and she has two children. Guess what this person told me? The person said, eh, that yes, even though that person, you know, is now divorced and all that, that she's still better off. <laughs> she is still better off than the person who has never been married and doesn't have kids. Yes, that's what I was told. And I was like, as in mind blown, I was shocked. Because when I said this person's husband was trash, I mean trash, 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 trash. Like if it was only me and that man left on the face of the earth, God, you better just get ready to recreate humankind from beginning again because human, human because humankind <laughs> because mankind is going to go extinct if it's only me and that guy left on earth. It is that bad. The guy is totally not acceptable, but even as trashy as, as he is, society still sees his ex-wife as better off than this one that has never been married, doing well for herself, doesn't have any kids, just living her best life. How? How? That person now who has two kids and you know, was married to a trashy human being, is forever stuck to that trashy human being because she even has two kids for him. So she is forever stuck to that trashy human being. Except the guy dies. Even if he dies, she's still attached to him. At least his name is still there, that he, she was once married to him. Even if, you know, the guy moves on, moves on with his life and remarries again, it is still part of her story. So you're not going to tell me that somebody who goes hooked up with a trashy man is better off than someone who has been living her best life and just been on her own since. Is that what person tell me? So at the end of the day, just sitting and wondering, what's even the benefit of pushing women into getting married by all means? What's the benefit? It has no benefit. First of all, you see women marrying for the wrong reasons. You see women, you know, staying married for the wrong reasons. Not just they marry for the wrong reasons. They stay married for the wrong reasons. They get married to the wrong people because they are just married because, yeah, let me just answer married or let me have a ring on my finger, okay? Of which... <sighs> Anyway, they even start having low self-esteem even when they get married. You see women who are married, but they have this fear of being single. So they start acting like, like zombies, like anything the man was. Yes, yes, my lord. You see my men walking all over them. And these things, this thing, men can sense these things. Men can sense when women have no self-esteem. When women's sense of what is attached to them. When they feel like this woman's, this woman's whole life is i'm this woman's whole life if i leave this woman right now she's nothing she's finished okay men can sense this and they start, they start acting anyhow to these women and these women stay there bitter angry sad but they cannot leave because they have to answer married you know so at the end of the day it helps no one to pressure women into getting married it helps nobody okay it is not by force to be married yes i love marriage i love love i keep saying this thing i love it i mean i'm sure by watching my, my videos you know i love a happy home you know for me i'm very blessed to have gotten married when i did and gotten married to the person that i got married to because some people forget that is actually a, a human being getting married to so not just being married alone it's not just it's not just a plus for you it is when you get married to the right person of which 
you don't even have to be married to have the right person as your partner yes people are opting out of marriage these days I, I don't i don't necessarily agree with it but i can see where it is better to opt to be single but you have a partner now for you to be married and be misbehaving okay so yeah there are people who if it's about children people who have children out of wedlock today they are not dead i'm not i also don't do not subscribe to that but i'm just saying that being married in itself has no value adds no value to a human being okay the only value that is added to you as a human being is when you attach yourself to another human being of value so it might be marriage, it might be partnership, it might be civil union, it might be whatever it is you want to call it. All I am just saying is that being married in itself has no, adds no value to a human being, okay? But being, being married to the, to the right person adds a whole lot of value, okay? So yeah, it doesn't make sense to me when women get shamed for not being married or when women are not given access to equal opportunities as, you know, their marriage mates it doesn't make sense to me okay so at the end of the day um like i said marriage does not add any value to a human being except you're married to the right person so please stop putting pressure on other people to get married stop asking them when they're getting married and women please stop putting pressure on yourself to get married okay if it happens let it happen stop putting pressure on yourself don't get desperate to the to the extent that if a man says hi to you you're already you are you're already uh, checking his son name against your name not if a man is nice to you, you now start engineering things to see if the man can marry you or you start pushing yourself on the man or you start, you know, forcing things that are not there. At the end of the day, it's only going to hurt you, okay? You are better off. That's, 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 let me give you guys an inside information, okay? As per Indian law inside marriage, okay? People that are inside marriage of a thing, okay? <laughs> let me give you guys an inside information that many people don't know. Many people don't know these things. And even when you tell people, they don't agree until they find themselves married as well okay let me tell you one inside information that you don't know come closer marriage is not going to make you happy marriage is not going to make you a better person okay and i'm saying it again marriage is not going to make you happy being married does not automatically give you a sense or you know passion or vision or something or money except you marry well you marry a rich man you get that's good but i'm just saying marriage in itself is not going to make you happy okay so if you are miserable being single you best believe you are going to be miserable being married yes you might even be more miserable being married because right now you are stuck so take your time assess the situation better get to know whoever you want to end up with better do not be in a hurry to answer mrs his son name do not be in a hurry to get a ring on your finger because if you get it wrong it can actually cost you your life yes if you get it wrong it can cost you your life it can cost you your happiness it can cost you your peace it can cost you your sanity it can cost you your money it can cost you a whole lot if you marry the wrong person the consequences of marrying the wrong person are way way worse way way grave than being single okay or being single forever the consequences of marrying the wrong person are very severe compared to the consequences of remaining single of which i can't even think of anyone right now but uh yeah because of being single so please take your time before you get married do not allow society pressure you stand up for yourself you know attach yourself what to god he's the only one who cannot fail you okay he's the only one who can fulfill your desires he's the only one who can make you happy he's the only one who can fill whatever hole is inside you that you feel a man can fill it is only god that can fill that emptiness adequately and forever okay a man can even feel it temporary but not forever at the end of the day focus on your maker focus on you know adding value to society of doing things of worth to the society focus on that and then the right man will come your way if you're interested in getting the right man but if you're not interested in, in getting married if in your heart of hearts you prefer to be single then by all means remain single yeah so yeah i think i've talked enough on this topic by no means did i exhaust everything that needs to be said on this topic so you guys my co co-host <laughs> like when the million says please in the comment section i'd like to know your thoughts on this topic why do you think women are more pressure than men to get married you know where is there anything i did not mention what are the consequences of pressuring women to get married okay i know i mentioned some but you guys can also so please 
leave a comment in the comment section let's get this discussion popping and don't forget to go over to the tall black chicks channel lillian patrick um go over to her channel and go and hear what she has to say about this topic okay so yeah and also please remember to follow me on my social media follow me on instagram my name on instagram is at a space i always put it somewhere here so yeah at a place please go and follow me on instagram i'm actually quite active there sometimes sometimes i just give myself a break but most times i'm active on instagram so please Go and follow me on Instagram, please. Yeah. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also share this video. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.